Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tiny Blue Games. My name is, of course, Seesaw or Chris, and today we're talking about Final Fantasy XIV in 2019. Specifically, we are finally taking a look at the PvP. Um, today we're going to be looking at my very first game that I ever played. It's called uh, The Feast, I believe. It's the training version of it. Um, and it's, I think is just a six on or five on five arena from what I understand. So it should be pretty straightforward. Um, but we'll get into that. Um, very cool intro, um, that they sort of have in game for it really gets you amped up for it. Uh, but yeah, so the very first thing I noticed was my skill bar has changed. Um, I did notice this actually when I went to the PVP island and I'll talk a bit more about that after this match. Uh, but you do get sort of a different set of skills, um, and I believe this is primarily to help balance out everyone who's playing, which does make a lot of sense, um, but it is a bit jarring for new players because you're like, wait, what does everything do? Now, I know that, you know, what I could do is actually take the time and read what everything does, um, but I, I was like, hey, let's just go in here and give it a go. Um, so you'll see here that I am attacking the wrong person for a while because I eventually noticed that, hey, my team put a number one on someone. I may as well start lighting them up. Um, so I do switch to the proper target. Um, and I mean, really at this stage, that's all I can really do is that I know how to attack. And if I know who I should be attacking, at least I'm helping. Um, spoilers alert, we, we do end up losing this pretty bad, I think. Um, and I think mostly our issue, like we just were not able to get the, uh, I believe this is the healer that we have targeted down at all. And I don't know if I should have maybe made some executive decisions there and sort of moved to a different person that we're attacking, but I just kept trying to get this person down and it, it just never did happen. Um, a big part of this also probably being that I just don't know what skills I should be using and what skills I shouldn't be using. Um, and I believe that some of them are like the their actual macros too. So there's a little bit more complexity to it. The other part of this as well is that I do have um, some more UI going on with my minstrel that I I could have taken the second to look at too. So I, I probably could have been more prepared is, is the gist of this, but I just wanted to get in there and see what was happening. Um, from what it seems like, you get knocked out and then you do respawn back into the game. Um, that's not typically something I really enjoy when it comes to PvP. I think it's much better to have it so that it's like uh, different rounds. So like maybe, um, you know, best of three. So we kind of go 5v5 and whoever, which team wins, uh, they win that round and then everything resets. I think that's a little bit easier because generally if you get to the point where you start killing off a few people and people keep spawning back at different times, um, it's really hard for that team that keeps spawning back to actually uh, change the course of the battle because at, at that point you're going to have like, you know, five or four people against like three people that might be up. So it, I definitely don't love that aspect of it. Um, but what I do like is that it is a very quick arena style uh, game. I think it's it's really nice to have this and it, it does look like they have some more um, in depth and longer form games to play as well um, that I will get into, not in this video, um, as I, I tried queuing for them and I was in queue for about 30 minutes or 40 minutes and I was like, eh, we'll, we'll try this a different time. As it was, the queue for this one was about 20 minutes. Now. This is on a Friday during the week, um, so there's probably, you know, more people at work or school or something like that. So I am interested to try it at some different times. But at the same time, I do know that, you know, for all the great things in Final Fantasy XIV, PvP isn't necessarily people's highlight, um, specifically when there is new, like a new expansion out, a new raid out, you know, there's going to be other things that are taking precedent. So taking a look, um, we do get sort of a... Uh, final little window here where it looked like my damage was okay. Got some experience. Um, you also get some experience, uh, PVP experience. Um, so it does look like you are trying to level both your actual level as well as a PVP bar. Um, and you do get some currency to spend on some PVP related gear. Uh, this is the island um, where you do come for PVP. Uh, it's where you come to actually first unlock it. Um, and it's called the Wolf's Den, I believe. So very 
PVP themed. Um, and even when you come here, your action bar does sort of change that new PVP layout with some new skills. So if you wanted to be a bit more prepared than I was, you could take your time and you could have actually uh, gone through and read your skills, uh, which I probably will do moving forward. I just, you know, really wanted to get into the action. Um, there are some vendors here as well. Um, you can see them by their different disciplines, and they give you um, different gear based on the expansion as well. So I went to ARR, and I took a look at the level 70 set. Now, I'm not sure if this is like level 70 PvP or level 70 not. I would assume it is PvP, and it does use that same currency that I collected. Um, so I got... 250 tokens of uh, the currency. So uh, the currency doesn't seem too bad actually to collect. Um, the actual style of, I just looked at the bows to kind of give myself a, a good feel for it. They do look really cool. Um, I'm not sure if this is another situation where these are more for um, just changing the style of your weapon for um, a glamour or if it is actually like that they are quite functional gear i still have to do a, a bit of um learning in terms of the pvp but this was a really good way for me to just sort of uh, dip my toes into it and that's that's ultimately what, what i wanted um I, I really enjoy being able to queue for pvp and different things while i'm actually questing or completing um different you know like chores or gathering or something like that so i think it's a, a really good way to keep things interesting um i was a little disheartened with the uh it's the hidden gorge is the one that i'm trying to queue in um and it being kind of a 40 minute queue uh, but looking at it i did see that it required one tank one healer one uh, melee and one range dps um so being a range dps for that i mean you're looking for a a full-on tank and healer to pair with you it's probably going to take quite a while um, and I don't know how many tanks and healers are queuing for pvp all the time um, so we'll see if it's you know easier to get in at a different time because I would love to talk about some of the other different modes and at the very least I'm very excited that there are different modes right because that that's such an exciting thing I think it's one of the biggest drawbacks from guild wars 2 was that they had kind of the same pvp game over and over and over again and when they did try to introduce that one game mode that won't get talked about um it, it kind of went nowhere for a while so i definitely think it's really good um, specifically having the arena because i think that really focuses on the actual gameplay factor um, and i think that's such a good way to do pvp um, you do have a PvP profile, as you can see here, that sort of shows you your wins and losses. Um, I think it's, it is more focused on ranked, which I didn't do right away, which is good, because I probably would have infuriated people. And I don't know if you have to be a certain like rank to do it to, to begin or not. Um, I should also mention, actually, that your, uh, your PvP profile is very linked to your grand company so that's kind of the theory here is that those are the factions and i think that you're fighting with your uh, grand company faction which is pretty cool um and ultimately sort of drives home the factor that these are this is your guild this is your group um and you do stuff together so i think that's a really cool way to do it um, i definitely was very happy to get the pvp quest from my uh main scenario people i uh, main scenario from my uh uh, grand company and come here and explore it. Uh, but yeah, so definitely going to require some more digging into it to get all the uh, different bits going, but I definitely enjoyed my first bit of PvP. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.